Hey guys, Chris here, and this is going to be a review of the incredibly small, almost a mini cigar, but quite expensive, Davidoff Exquisitos cigar. This is a £2.89, £2.90 cigar, so this is um, near £3 for American viewers, that's like four and a half dollars If you look at this, believe me, it's expensive to us as well, you just haven't got good prices. <laughs> Wow, I mean this thing is so, so, so ridiculously expensive for what you get. You could almost get a full, very good scarf, £3. So we're going to have to quick look at this, so let's get this out of the way. I tend to keep that one on top of the cabinet. Uh, have we got an ashtray? Yes we do. Uh, sorry about the mess all over here guys, um, i got the printer here, so. And uh, the usual lighter, the... Uh, Clipper, the uh, disc in the flint wheel that just sort of flipped out, so now it doesn't create sparks. So uh, that one's dead. I'm probably going to use a match for this. It's probably better considering the size. And removing the band, I'm not I'm not bothered about keeping this one intact. Let's just peel it off. Oh, uh, tobacco leaf is coming off with that a little bit. That's never good. Basically, David Off always produced decently high quality, it's generally always very high quality, but their prices are really extortionately high. This is almost the same size as a mini scar. I have the, uh, because I just got them, I've got the Gokiba mini scars sitting on my desk, and let me just get one out for a quick size comparison. Traditional Cuban type of minis, Davidoff, Exquisitos. These are quite expensive, I thought they are quite expensive, these are about 90p each for a mini scar, and these are around £3, so you can just imagine have a feel about this. So let's just put this back. What do we get from initial first impressions? There's a little bit of a uh, decent potency in there. Um, it smells like a slightly stronger mini scar. Um, smells a little bit Cuban actually. It smells like kind of a that sweeter tobacco you tend to smell. It looks okay. Um, the uh, plug is actually seems decent for a scar this small. So we're gonna have to have a bit of a look at it. Again, Pepsi Max Cherry. And yeah, matches are probably the best option. I don't want to use the uh, jet lighter. It's not good for mini scars, and I would classify this as a mini scar. It's still kind of hard to go over the price of this, though. It's really, really expensive. Initial draw, that was extremely hot, what I just got. Oh yeah, that's really heated. That's um, that's extremely hot intakes. Wow, wasn't expecting that. When I say I wasn't expecting that, I have actually had one of these before. I just don't remember what it was like. It was quite a while ago when I bought these. I had one. And I've been sort of putting off doing a review for this for a while. Because every time I, put, I try a cigar, it's generally a cigar I really like. Or a cigar that I really, really want to try that I've not had before. Or a cigar that I have had before. Very good recommendations for. This, nothing too special, so I've been putting this off for a little while. Somehow this uh, won out. I did a vote asking people I know uh, to have a quick vote on what I was going to have. It was this Guantanamera Compe, Guantanamero Piritos, or the um, Cohiba Minis. And somehow this one won out. So, as for initial impressions, it's really hot. It's really. It's. Um, really like getting to the end of a big scar it's it's just weird it's not like even cafe creme doesn't have quite this heated i mean the ash on this isn't looking all too impressive either taste wise
Definitely a little bit nutty in there. There's some generic Dutch tobaccos in there, I could actually taste a little bit of that, it just tastes... Actually got a little bit of an edge of a Hamlet Mini. I do actually have the um, page open on Seagars Limited, and all this is really going to show you is quite an extortionate price, but um, let me just show you that now. £2.89, £2.90, £3, let's round up to that. And it's got a two star review, and checking this one out is basically standard small scar, average aftertaste, won't be buying again. Sort of uh, how I felt like this before even picking it up. I was actually pretty sure it would be like this as soon as I saw the price. I was like, David, off that price, it's going to be a pretty basic cigar. Pretty standard. These are actually a little bit bigger than a mini cigar, but there are some generic mini cigar brands that will set you cigars this size. 3 and 5 8 inches, ring gauge 22, packaging single cigar. I bought three of these because I was going through a bit of a phase where... Um, sorry. I was going through a bit of a phase where I was buying, um, I was planning on smoking a, a scar between £1 and £3 a day, or around the £1, £2 bar mark, and um, I thought these would be a good contender, but these were really just mini scars, I could have bought, bought a pack of mini scars and been as happy. Not this one specifically, this is the only pack of mini scars I've got to hand since I got them the other day. Nothing too special about that ash. Quite a nutty taste. The wrapper is burning okay. Not being entirely negative about this scar, I mean, it's. If you consider it a mini scar, it's pretty good, but if you consider the price of it, it's not good. Um, it seems to burn fine. The wrapper appears okay. It seems to have. Uh, Turning around there, I accidentally got a little bit of a gash in that wrapper there, but that was because um, that spot there, that the uh, I've lost a band already, that the band took off. It's got kind of a weak, nutty aftertaste. That's really all I could get from this. Nothing special about this ash, mostly black, not really helping. You'd probably be better off tapping this off every time you get about this much. Is that my phone charge? Whoa. This time wise is not very great already. It's um could be better. There are mini scars, most mini scars that aren't generic, most Cuban minis, whatnot, they will last about this. The taste it really is nothing special, it's pretty weak. The aftertaste is just a little bit nutty. Even right now I can't really taste anything in my mouth. It's uh, gone pretty quick. Not getting anything out of this at all. Um, sitting with a cheap mini scar, maybe let's go for something good on the cheap end. The La Paz mini cigar was the um, La Paz Wild Mini, I think they're called actually. They're about, work out to about 55p each mini cigar, and I would prefer one of those to this actually. It's a um, pretty light flavour, 
it's all pretty light. There's nothing. It's not supposed to be a sweet cigar. A uh, sweet cigar. You can tell by really the taste of it. That was. Um, it's not really much of that. There's not really much of anything in this at all. Yeah, it's still a hot burn for some reason. It's just not working out too well. Don't get me wrong. David off to have some good cigars, and um, you know you're paying the price for quality. But in this case, not really. It's pretty similar to the Demi Tass, except I would say this one's a little bit worse. The Demi Tass is actually you know decently slightly bigger scar and I think it's actually a very similar price, a little bit cheaper maybe. First price I would recommend the Guantanamo Guantanamera Prito, which is one I was actually um I had it in my vote to do and it didn't win out. I was actually hoping for the Kehiba minis because um I had one of these earlier and they're pretty excellent for the price. For the price they're um okay I mean they're better than your average mini scars, they cost a bit more than your average mini scars, that's pretty much the gist of that, but uh, there's a bit more to that, I have to go into quite an in-depth review when I do that, so uh, watch out for that one. I will not be doing the uh, Partagas, um, Petit Corona Specialis, uh, not for a while anyway, but I'm going to let the one sit in the humidor. You're not getting too much smoke off this either. It's quite hot. Not much smoke. Burned down quite quick. It just doesn't really add up too much. But that's the way it is. Still pretty hot. Game horror, of course. Strong taste of burnt tobacco, but that's probably because um, the speed I'm going through this. Not much knowing this, it's like um, it's trying to go for the spiciness right now, just not working. For the money, bad value cigar. If you got a couple of these, I don't know, um, I personally don't think you should buy them for yourself, but say if you have a, as I mentioned in all my uh, mini scar videos, this situation, say you have like a friend um, who likes to have a small mini scar after a meal every so often, for a gift you could buy them one of these, I would say that's probably uh, one of the only applications I would use one of these for. For anyone who, you know, really likes cigars or likes um, bigger cigarillos than this little mini scar. Um, then I would probably still recommend something bigger. You don't even have to be really into scars before you're, you know, out of this stage. This uh, wrapper is starting to annoy me. Pretty OCD about these uh, these little things. It's not too special about the wrapper either, it's just kind of um, pretty bland. I'll have a quick look at the um, wrapper and give you a bit of uh, close-ups on that after I finish this. It's just about done. I've got a second one up in there. I'm probably going to be ordering more scars like this. Not specifically as overpriced as David Off scars. But, um, I don't know, some more 2 3 pound cigars. I like to review little cigarillos because, you know, I tend to have at least one a day. And they're definitely some things I do enjoy. Can't do big cigars all the time. People seem to like the mini reviews. They tend to get the uh, biggest response. I am so behind on college work. But I am not too bothered actually. That's pretty much that done. There's um hot, a little bit spicy. It's probably a little bit of spice on the tongue from the heat though. Again, not too special.
So let's uh, have a quick look at the wrapper. It feels um, medium spongy. This means sitting in here for a little while, not too long. Uh, I think the light shining off the band is probably causing some problems, but uh, there you go. In terms of veins, not really much. That might be some hints of veins all around it, but no giant problems, I would say. Uh, plugging this one doesn't seem quite as perfect. It seems like it's uh, sticking out a little bit and not stuck together too well. Yeah, same as before, the wrapper's actually uh, pretty smooth. It also happens to be about the same size as an Oliva Visual Mundo, I believe these are spelled. Pronounced? Yes, yeah, the same size as one of those. These are also kind of expensive, but we'll get onto that in another review. So that's my uh, review of the David Office Quiz Toss. It's um, not a bad cigar, I mean... <clears throat> It's like a glorified mini scar. I would definitely prefer to, uh, you say, get a pack of minis. You could buy three of these, or you could buy ten decent Cuban minis. And uh, to be honest, you could actually buy um, two of those and buy a pack of decent good minis. But um, I don't know, something like this, the Roma Giulietta, probably the Monte Cristo minis, those types of things, I would prefer to get one of those to one of these. And it costs a lot less, like between 50p and 80p for a good Cuban Mini. For this David Oscar, £3. It's too much. So thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And make sure you check out my other videos and make sure you check out my Facebook page where I post a lot of stuff there. That's mainly, you know, not just related to these videos, it's mostly related to scars in general. So uh, just get a lot more new content from me there. So thanks for watching and goodbye.